Hey, hey, Sabaya. How are all y'all doing? It's been it's been so long since I've live streamed. My tripod was covered in cobwebs. So give me just a sec to get resituated um, and figure out whoop, how to get all this put back together. How are you guys? Hey, Mary Hart. Everybody. Hey, Pro. Hey, X. <laughs> hey, what you know? Him. Hey, Yvette. Ooh, just let me say I'm surprised I made it this early. Well, I'm glad you're here. Hey, April. Hey, Darla. Benjamin, it's so good to see you. Hawk. I hope it's all okay. Oh, no, I, I wasn't on yet. Not because of the weather. It's a beautiful day outside because of my um, incompetence. Uh, it's fine. Everybody dancing in the moonlight. Uh, no, I'm not going to do a software update. Do, do, do. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to use my tablet. How are you guys doing? Hey, hey, Tony. Hey, Stephanie. Give me a few minutes. Is Kelly finishing work? Same. <laughs> hey, Jax's mom. We're doing. We're doing really good. Um, it has been. We've. We've gotten everything like kind of resettled in, I think. And today was our first day back to like regular production. Hey, TikTok. <laughs> hey, Andrea. I missed all y'all as well. Everybody dancing in the moonlight. I gotta figure out where to put this. So we have been booking it all day. I think Maddie, the poor sweet creature, made like 65 pairs of earrings today. And I was like, you have come to sport. She's like, I have met my quota. And I'm like, that's fair. <laughs> so, like, she actually met her quota plus five. So, she's doing good. Let me put it in live chat. There's my beautiful love coming down the stairs. Hey, baby. Dancing in the moonlight. Hey, Anne. I did remember it was No Pants Friday. Right on, pro. Hey, Donna. So glad you're back. We're glad to be back, too. But yeah, we made, these are some of the earrings Maddie's been making today. Randy's been busting on bracelets. And, and uh, what'd you, oh, did mm -hmm. I, oh, your notebook? Yeah. I apparently hide all of his notebooks from him. So, <laughs> hey, Sherry. But she has mastered doing the ear hooks. So that's good. We're going to have to get her some pliers of her own, though. Oh, is that the last dentist pick? Yeah. Well, sharing is caring. <laughs> no, I'm not going to use your dentist pick. Thank you, though, honey. We just ate lunch, and all of us are, like, got it in our teeth. So, <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, this is everything we've made so far today. Maddie is winning. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to up my production majorly. Um, that's all I'm doing tonight, making earrings. Ooh, stone heishi earrings. Oh, that'll be so cute. Okay, let me get this flipped around. I've missed y'all so much. How you guys been doing? Actually finishing projects while you were hiding <laughs> right on. Oh, let me make sure this is in live chat. There we go. Or did I just put it to no chat? There we go. Everybody dancing tonight. So, we got, this is our bin of, hey Maddie, yes. can I put these that you've made into the bucket? Uh, yeah, I'll count them first. Oh, okay. Accurate. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, so you have even more than what's tallied on the card? Yeah. Three, four, five. And Maddie is also now our new administrative assistant, and uh, she has been keeping us on task, which is fantastic. One, two, three, four, five. And this is also like day three or four of us eating uh, no sugar. It's pretty close to keto, but not quite close enough to call it keto. Two, three, four five and maddie's been doing this for a hot minute so she's again keeping us in like oh crap uh 
Well, I was counting them and then I didn't, I just didn't put them in. I think that was 10. Very quickly, Maddie is going to be the boss of me, I think. <laughs> and I'm perfectly okay with that. She's got her, her ducks in a row. Everybody dancing in the moonlight. One, two, three, four, five. How many is that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Yep. Ooh, hey, Rhonda. How's it going? Thank you so much for your kindness. But yeah, this is our done bucket from today. Do you have your phone plugged into the charger? I do not. And I'm also talking to space. So is like the, uh, is the audio bad or something? But I do have my phone charged up to full right now. My tablet's charging. So. Hey, Anna. How's it going? Just counted out 10. Thank you, Hawk. Right on. Stephanie says, oh, nice one. Keto really works if you can stick to it. A lot of our friends have been very successful with a keto lifestyle, even with like being on the road as vendors and stuff. And so they're a big inspiration to us. And she's going to need a bigger bull whip. Um, and, um, and Maddie's such an inspiration to us. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm excited. And with all of the sugar-free options on the market now and like the uh, stevia and stuff, um, it's going to be pretty easy, I think, to just, I just have to consistently be good. <laughs> So these are some of the necklaces that I finished up today. Everybody, do, do. Aw, thank you, Pro. So what I'm working on right now is Randy had made me, he's so fast at these, some little, let me, let me zoom in. Wow, oh my gosh, Hawk, that's tremendous. Hawk says, I did a powwow last weekend and I've made more in one day financially than I have all season so far. That is amazing. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Hawk. So I'm making these little wire wrapped. I started by putting the eyeballs on. Oh, and I don't have my creepy finger covered. Oh, I'm sorry. I normally put a bag over its head so nobody will see. Well, let me put a band-aid on it. That way you don't have to see my creepy finger. A sneaky peeky of the creepy finger. But yeah, this fingernail never actually did fall off. Now it's just growing back in. So, cool. <laughs> Creepy paper. <laughs> this is Kelly. I love them too, Rhonda. I really... Oh, Mary Hart says, it isn't bad really. Well, I finally passed the blood blister that was trapped underneath it. And that's what made it look pretty wrecked. Um, Cindy says, Kedio is pretty easy. However, once you deviate from it, it's hard to return to it. Gotcha. Well, it's, we don't really eat a whole lot of bread anyhow. And I think once I've, I, I'm just going to be strict with it until, um, I've reached my goal weight. So like a hundred pounds from now. Um, and then, um, any bread that I eat will just be homemade stuff. That way, if I want it, I have to, you know, put in the effort. Um, and I'm still going to stay pretty much no sugar. Um. You know, I'll eat fruit and I'll eat, you know, sweet potatoes and stuff, but just no, like, raw granulated sugar. I think I can do that. Especially Mercury retrograde ends today <laughs> when the planet's going backwards so hard we have to take three weeks off of streaming. So, <laughs> mm. cheers all y'all. We are having iced coffee today and it is really stinking good. Everybody... Okay, so what we're doing, though, is we've got this little link that I've wire-wrapped the eyeballs on, which are these little red glass beads. And um, and then I'm making with a 16 gauge, that's 16 American wire gauge, um, coming through with some of these large beads. And then I'm attaching to the aluminum Byzantine that Randy made for me. And then right on, Sherry. That's a good idea. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever not eat honey. Just because it's medicine. Like, anytime that, like, my throat's killing me and stuff, like, I honey it up. And then we're going to do another link of red and then attach it to chain. So, ooh, that would be, we're going to have to do a whole line. I'm going to do eight with red eyes and eight with black eyes. Because I've got some uh, black 
glass beads as well but the price point that we're selling these at um is i'm going to try to make them one of our lower price point necklaces so we're busting them out oh randy we got an email 90 days till dragon panic panic intensifies <laughs> wait what happened to that my creepy fingers creepy fingers what happened to that ah oh no bad manicure as a teenager oof right on nice michelle eight dates when i want sugar right on dates are so tasty too anyhow are you going to sell some of the bees yellow discs i hope so rhonda i'm, I'm hoping to get some made not in tonight's kiln but in tomorrow's kiln uh because we'll have a little bit more time during the day to um to get that loaded up everybody put it in the moonlight okay so i'm going to come in here about this far in so that's three fingers or about two inches like where the bend is is actually almost exactly two inches so bend in that i'm gonna use my mandrel pliers hey al how's it going Ooh, 90 days till your birthday pro happy early birthday we're gonna have to take you out Take you out and howl at the moon or something. Hey Denise. Ooh, until Virgo season. I like that because it makes it sound like you're hunting Virgos. So let's get this smushed together. Everybody dancing. Kelly said. April says, "Did you? Did I what?" Uh. Did you ever look at Jeff Klein's gallery wire? I did, and it's beautiful. It's not quite in my budget right this second. I'm trying to make as much as possible with what we already have in-house. But as soon as I get some money to go over to Etsy. Woo! Hawk says my birthday is the 19th of this month. Well, happy early birthday to you too, Hawk. It's a good month to be born in. Randy's birthday is actually this Saturday. And I'm very excited for him. I think he turns 35. We're still such babies. Until you ask a 15-year-old. We're ancient. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ooh! Witchy Gnome says, 22 until Gnome's B-Day, the weekend after the first event at the Orchard. Eee! Yeah, you the display that y'all have been working on, Witchy Gnome, looks fantastic. Which is just perfect for putting y'all's beautiful jewelry on. Happy birthday, Rain. Hey, Randy. Yo. Yvette says happy butt day. Oh, thank you. He says, oh, thank you. Everybody. Which he gets to celebrate for the whole month because Maddie's here. I think we're going to make him a keto cheesecake. <laughs> Hawk says happy birthday, Randy. You're just a youngster. I'll turn 72. Ah. Oh. I hope we make it to 72. That'd be an, a wild adventure. Dancing in the moonlight. Send some of that down to Tulsa. <laughs> hey, Kara. We've been doing really well. We helped our friends with their daughter's graduation. That's Izzy. Our well, I know she's, she's our friend, too. We're not just friends with her parents. I guess that makes us family friends or something. That's cool. But she's all graduated now. And... Um, and then we went camping and that was amazing. I did not realize how badly I needed to just like be under the sky without a ceiling. It was fantastic. Um, and then we kidnapped our niece. She's here now. Anna says, don't do it. It's overrated. Oh no. No. I'm excited. I hope I get to be good and pruny and just... Just old as dirt one day. <laughs> it's a luxury not all of us get to afford, and I hope I can afford it. Marie says I'll be 67 on the 12th of July. Right on. Ooh. 
so many Geminis. Andrea says mine was last week. Still celebrating. Woo woo. That's the way to do it. <laughs> I used to celebrate for like the whole month, but now we kind of just work through it. But that's okay. I celebrate while Maddie's here. Ooh, Donna says my daughter will be 34 on the 12th of July. Wow. Yeah, and these are those same lolly beads. These are in the platinum tone. <laughs> Ooh, right on, pro. Oh, weddings are so much fun. Especially to just attend. <laughs> Randy and Maddie are actually in the other room putting together character sheets because we are going to be playing some D&D &D tomorrow. And I think my character that he's making me is a Triton Ranger, so like a fish person assassin. And then... Oh, Sarah's uh, Baker says, where did you get those skulls? I got these on AliExpress. Now you can also find them sold individually, I think at Hobby Lobby, but they're like four bucks a piece. Or you can get them for like way more affordable in bulk on AliExpress since it's the literal exact same uh, charm. And they have it in silver tone and brass and they electroform beautifully. So if that's something that you're into. I still need to get my electroforming setup put together. Oh my God, 90 days. That's two months, we can do this. Lusa, baby. Okay. Everybody dancing in the moonlight. Ooh, cherry tree beads. I've never shopped there. Would you recommend them? Yeah, I like to give them a little bit of a curve. If there's too much movement, it makes a... Do you hear that? Also, I don't know if my hummingbirds love me anymore. I don't think they loved me to start with, but they've stopped visiting my feeders. I think I was gone for too long and the sugar went sour. And even though I've replaced it, I think they've moved on to more diligent hummingbird feeder cleaners. So, I'm keeping an eye out. <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> Penny... <laughs> Yeah, they are good. They're in USA, and I always see them when in Tucson. Ooh, right on, April. Some good stuff. Right on. Kelly says, oh, just wait. They don't forget. Okay. Thank you, guys. Because I was getting genuinely bummed out. I was Because I designed my entire garden this year around making the hummingbirds happy. And, like, if they left, I'd be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please take me back. Okay, only three more, really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. the good gosh they'll be back right on yeah i did i always soap it up real good and oh penny <laughs> yes <laughs> i got you iron <laughs> ninety days is three months Clearly, you can tell I'm amazing at math. Um, yeah, no, you're right. Wow. 90 days. So, yeah, it's only the beginning of June. For some reason in my head, it was like July. Y'all. No, I'm sorry, baby. I just don't even know. <laughs> like, where my bean juice at? <laughs> in 90 days is Dragon Con in Atlanta, Georgia our next vending event and we basically sold out of all of our back stock at anime st louis which was back in the end of april and then we missed almost three weeks of production just doing stuff that i do not regret doing at all i'm very glad to have been able to be there for friends and family and stuff because sometimes it's nice to put being a workaholic on a back shelf and uh just be there for the people i love but also now workaholic Vaughn is like, oh my god, panic. <laughs> so, ooh, I want to do this. I put together one of them, but the styrofoam ball, uh, eh, oh, I'm not digging it. 
like it was really pretty but it like floats funny and whenever the birds land on it they're like whoa so they kind of the birds didn't like it so i was like if i don't like it and if they don't like it then why am i doing this so uh i need to get something else figured out everybody dancing in the moonlight katrina says are you still going to try to make costumes for dragon not this year um we are just focusing on jewelry this year uh we still have the potential for doing costumes in future years but we're really gonna have to see how things develop um and we still don't have a van so that's something we're gonna have to save up for and uh invest in because we are given maddie the maddie mobile our current blue car uh whenever she gets her driver's license y'all she drove us all around in tennessee and it was amazing She's such a good driver. And it was last summer when she was here. Uh, Randy was teaching her how to drive. So at night before our walks, we, he would take us to um, one of the local hotels that has like a big parking lot that nobody's ever in. Um, and she would practice driving. So now to go from that for her driving around on like the highway and stuff. We didn't do any interstate driving, but it's still, I'm just... And then we went and visited our other friends who have, like, a baby who was born in, like, January. So you do the math on that one. And he is an absolute little spudling of delight. He is so cute. But I'm holding him and looking at Maddie and remembering when she was that size and, like, ow, my broken heart. Like, my happy broken heart. <laughs> it's like they grow so, so fast. It's ridiculous. Ooh, a plague doctor. I like that owl. How's Tank doing? I don't know if I already asked you that. Everybody. Oh, Jean, no, I added the skulls. And I'm actually, once I get done with these guys, I am going to do eight more, possibly ten more. I might do two more with the red to make it ten. And then I'll do ten with the black. Yeah, that's the new plan. Um, hey, Dana, how's it going? Do, 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 do. But uh, I'll show you guys how I added the beads because it, it works better in a two-step process like how we did here. He's doing, he's growing right on. Our neighbor got some puppies and it makes me think of you in Tank because those, those little rambunctious, just bundles of energy and mischief. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's all. Y'all already have a helper with your gnome. Woof. That's awesome. Hey, Cece love. How's it going? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying so hard to keep up with chat and still get stuff made. And it's been a minute, so be patient with me. And it really bums me out. I don't know what happened that... On my tablet, it no longer highlights it in orange, it highlights it in gray. Which, I'm going to tell you, gray does not get my attention the way that orange does. So, <laughs> hey, Misty. Hope all are doing well. We're doing pretty good. How are you doing today? Everybody dancing. Ooh! Which gnome says our Renfest friend helped us at our second event. Right on. Oh, we went to the Ren Fair and had so much fun. I'm going to complain a little bit. We stood in line for like two hours for the tour and we couldn't really go through the inside of the building at all, which I mean, the outside of the building was really cool, but it would have been nice to have been able to see that and then be like, it like kind of warn us to let us know whether or not we wanted to stand in line. Um, cause I would have rather not been standing in line in full sun, but that's just me. But other than that, the whole thing was like an absolute blast. Really? Stephanie says YouTube changed the layout under the videos too. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Oh, well, it didn't show a name, but it says this is my first time watching a live chat. This is really neat. Right on. Well, welcome to the chat. I'm really excited that so far, not to jinx it, um, which here, here it goes anyways. Uh, so far, the signal's been pretty decent, so I'm pretty happy about that. Ooh, right on. I hope you get to feeling better, Misty. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's hard to muster up the gumption to do down near anything when you're not feeling good. Ooh, Michelle says, I'm going to the Colorado Renfest. It starts June 18th. I bet it's amazing up in Colorado to get to, like, I've never been to that one, but I can only imagine. I've never seen anything done in Colorado half-assedly. So, especially whenever it concerns, like, fandoms and stuff, like conventions or Ren Fairs. Made a mistake of taking off my shoes for 20 minutes at the Ren Fair last weekend, and now I have so many bug bites. Oh no, Katrina! <laughs> yeah, I wore my cute boots to the Ren Fair, which is alright, but my feet, like, killed me. And so I think next time I'm just going to wear my frumpy Uggs. Like, I've already locked down my sugar booger. I'm not looking to impress anybody. I'd rather wear comfortable shoes. Even if I look, like, a bit deranged. I am. I am using 16 gauge aluminum here on this. And that gives a really nice thick... Like, I wanted something very substantial. Wow, Michelle says it's been here for at least 30 years. Nice. Hey, Doris. All the way from Switzerland. Well, thank you for joining us. What time of day is it there? Oh, <laughs> they said, I love all your jewelry. It really inspired me to do wire work. I love it. My figures don't, though. Yeah, it can be a little bit of a... It, it can... And I can't even say that. It, it hurts, yeah. Wire wrapping can really be hard on your hands. But, I mean, welcome to crafting, though. Because I was going to be like, well, it gets better over time, says I with my hands hurting. <laughs> but... Once you build up your hand strength and kind of really break in and, like, learn how to dance with your pliers, more or less, um, it can really help to cut down on any discomfort that comes from crafting. And, it, like with all things, it's so important to pace it out and, you know, take breaks and stretch and, you know, don't, don't break yourself. Uh, the Anna, the aluminum wire is not anodized. Sorry, I'm scrolling through trying to see the bad guy in the 80s cartoon Brave Star. Oh, I haven't seen that, Al. Right on, Mary Hart. Oh, Katrina had said, I was worried about y'all were going to kill yourselves trying to get the costumes made. No, yeah, it's... Uh, as much as I love having the costumes there, we just can't fit them into the car, and it, it's too much trying to get everything done at once, so I'm going to try to just focus on one thing and get that done hopefully well, if that makes sense. So does anybody else use their hummingbird feeders as sort of a barometer on air pressure? Because, like, the level in the hummingbird feeder has been changing throughout the day, uh, and I was like, what in the heck's happening? And I thought about it, and I was like, I bet. But something to do with air pressure or something. Or well, there's a wasp feeding on the hummingbird feeder. Whoop, last one. Okay, I'm going to dig out two more of these. And then I'm going to see, do y'all want to go on a field trip with me? Or do you want me to leave this here to see? Because I don't want to risk messing up our good signal. Hey, Lynn. We missed you too. I, I am, I'm, gen, I'm being genuine with y'all whenever I say I am glad to be back. There's a young bird. Oh, no, there's a car driving by. <laughs> Do ignore me. <laughs> Elaine says I'm doing chainmail because of you. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Okay, I, I will be right back. I'm going to leave you guys here singing about my mess.
Your powerhouse. We made the first. Did you make eight or sixteen? Sixteen. You made those so fast. Okay. Get these. Huh? Well, but I'm making even more. It doesn't uh, have to be right now. It's just. Oh, okay. Then. Okay. Yeah, you're good, babe. Good. Oh, and then I was gonna do ten with the black eyes. Three, four. Everybody. Dancing on the moonlight. Right, what was that for? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those ones will have black glass for the eyes. Oh, that one's all busted. That's no bueno. That one's busted too. What the heck? What is going on? Oh no. A lot of these brass ones I might not be able to use. Okay, that one I can use. One, two, three, four, five. I've been running out of bead tray space and bead tray storage space. So I'm having to put like like designs together, even if it's mixing colors. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we are. Okay, let me put this back. Uh, thanks, Iron. I'm really pleased with it, too. Stephanie says, I have to get all my charms into trays like that. I have piles everywhere. Dude, it makes such a difference, Stephanie. Like, I can turn this a little bit so y'all can see. Maybe. But, like, our whole bead storage wall is, like, really... I can't say that it's not that much, but it's, like... Because in my, in my heart, I would like, you know, my entire room to be lined in just beads like that. But, um, doing, we do chain mail across the bottom, uh, for the most part. Like, so our scales, our rubber rings, our, um, anodized aluminum, like anything that's like for weaving chain mail. And then the next shelf up, I've got my stuff for making LED lights. Um, yeah, this is about four feet wide. And it's made to DVD height. This was actually my bonus dad, Fred, had made a custom shelf to store all of his DVDs on. Because he and my mom were over-the-road truck drivers. Well, he still is. Um, and this was before streaming. So, like, they'd go to truck stops and get, like, you know, all these cheap, like, DVDs and stuff. And he wanted somewhere to store them. And so it's perfectly DVD height. You can just slide a DVD in, which works perfect for... And they're six or eight inch deep. They're about this deep. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Yeah, they're eight inch boards, one by eight boards. Um, but yeah, so the next shelf up, I've got my LED stuff. I've got some unorganized things, a bench vise, and then my metal charms. And then up we have gemstone and glass and gemstone and glass and then some other stuff that needs organized so it's really like I've seen bigger collections but we have a pretty high turnover rate of what we keep in Ooh, a teacher slot shelf would be amazing for this like a truly if I didn't was that a hummingbird no that wasn't a hummingbird. I don't know what that was ah. um I don't like having to you know it, it's kind of hard to get to the bottom shelf uh, or the bottom of what's on the shelf, but it'll be fine. I will live. But then I can't find stuff. It's just me. It's just me falling on my ass. It's alright. Come here. It's okay. Everybody, what did I do with my shit? I lost it. <laughs> I lost the bead tray. I don't know what I did with it, guys. Um, I know. What did I do? Is it? Let's see, what did I do with it? It's the one with the red and black beads in the front. It's not 
about this one. Everybody. Hey, Wendy. Yeah? Wendy. Did I? I lost a bead tray. And I don't see it on my shelf. Did I hide it somewhere else? Is this it? That's not it. Is it this bead tray? No. No. Well, I don't know. Okay. What bead tray are you looking for? It's the one that in these front two, it has red and black round beads. <laughs> no, it was buried. It's sometimes I'm looking for, like, it'll be right in front of me, and I just don't see it. Where'd the lid go? There it is. Okay. So I'm going to need to pull out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, shoot. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to make the links with a different red bead. So there's one, two, and three, and four. Okay. So those are all the red ones, and then we need to do the black ones, which are two, three, four, five. I, I can just feel of that counting stitches. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, There we go. And I'll still have enough of the black 6 millimeter glass. And this is the... This is the item number of what I'm using, if Fire Mountain still carries them. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see that. It's H201222MD, bead, check glass, 16 inch, black opaque, round 6 millimeter. So, hopefully that's helpful to you guys, but... That's what I'm using here, and I, I like it. I really like this glass because the, the color is solid all the way through. And it's, I don't ever want to use any glass that's just been like dipped in a color, like a paint or something, be, just because, you know, I don't want it rubbing off over time. So what we're doing here now is we're going to use, I have two spools of 20 gauge. This one's from like five or six years ago. And then this one is a, a new one. This one is stiff and I really like it for making bead links. This one is much more supple and that's what I'm going to be using for doing our wrapping today. And I just snip about that much, which is one, two, three, four, five inches. And... I know some folks really don't like mixed metal tones on their jewelry, um, so sad for them though, uh, because we're going to be doing the brass with silver as well. So, ooh, <laughs> Vicky says your pants are super awesome looking. Are they wrapped pants? They're actually a romper that I'm holding up with my dump truck butt, so it doesn't actually have like a waistband. It's just a romper that I don't have up over my shoulders, and it gives me super baggy, wonderful, uh, like harem pants kind of. There we go. Ah, Lorena says true. They don't always have the same item. I know because I'm a platinum buyer. Right on. <laughs> 
Hey Organic, we are making some necklaces with these. I'm making the focal point out of assembled from beads and 16 gauge aluminum wire and that is 16 um, American wire gauge. Pandemic pants. Twin pants sisters. I wore mine the other day. Ah, right on. Some They're comfy though, aren't they? Yeah, I got these glass beads from Fire Mountain Gems. They were very reasonably priced, I think. Ooh, I bet, Penny. Acid edged anything, as far as glass goes, is just glorious. Okay, so here's the two bits that I've wrapped, or that I've cut. So I'm going to do one red glass bead. Let me zoom in just a bit more for you. Because I worry, like, I want to zoom in enough that you can see what's going on. But if I zoom in too far, I just wander out of frame and then it's like going out for milk. I never come back. Okay. And then, and you'll notice on these, they have the eye hole and then like a hole that you would string like a cord through. Um, Fry Mountain Gems is super reasonable shipping, I think. I don't know. And then I'm moving it to about the center, and then I'm just bending up on that wire. Right on, Elaine. And now I'm going to come through. And this is why it's important to use a slightly more supple wire. So I'm bending that around, and I'm going to grab there and just pull. And that's through this hole here. So there's one. And I'm going to do that's okay I make it to where it's three wraps so you can kind of see there's that first one two and then three so I'm actually gonna snip this one a few millimeters past and if you guys want a video of what I'm doing here um, instead of just a live stream so you can have that nice crispy hopefully in frame quality um, let me know and I'll do like a full-on actual tutorial of this. Now, probably until at least Dragon Con, uh, Labor Day weekend, we're just going to be doing one tutorial a week just to uh, try to mitigate our workload. So you can kind of see how that's come around. Oh, Lorena, I got these from AliExpress. If you just search like crow or raven skull bead, you'll get lots of, you can get them on Etsy and stuff too if you want to get from uh, American distributors, but they're manufactured in China, so. <laughs> I still have, it's in my pile of stuff I'm supposed to do, um, which is my house now. But yeah, these are the different dragonflies that I experimented with and absolutely love. And so we're going to have to do a dragonfly tutorial as well. Okay. Feeding that through, using the bent nose to grab and pull. And then you can use the side to smush. And then bring it around. And then I'm going to give that a snip, and I save all of my scrap wire in this drawer directly next to me. For a long time, I didn't really like these rainbow drawers because, well, fur gets into them really easy, and they don't hold a lot of weight, and I don't much care for them in general, and they get rusty and filthy and everything in them gets filthy because they don't close all the way. But I love having a bunch of shallow accessible drawers directly next to me so one day we might make our own custom cabinetry uh, with drawers and so what I'm going to do now is you can see there's this wire here coming across and I'm just going to take the tip of my pliers and I'm lining it up and I'm just pressing inward so do you see how that makes it fit to the shape of what we're doing right on which you know and then I'm just going to press it and push and that just bends it in, so now there's no wiggle, no movement, and then we get to do it again. Everybody dance. 
Threading that on, threading through the eye. Whoops! No, I need that. I'm super low. Okay, I found it. Ah, uh, thanks, Jean. I was worried that I have to wear a suit and shave for the wedding tomorrow. I don't want to go, right? <laughs> Oh, Amazon has the skulls? Right on. Nice. Okay, and then threading through right there. And then we just kind of do this. Which I've also, I have a tutorial on how to make a ring out of these um, skulls as well. Which is a really, really fun like they look they just look so dramatic like and you can make them with or without the eye beads okay snipping that putting it into the drawer <laughs> misty <laughs> Okay, bring that around, give it a snip, and into the bin. 40 piece, $11 variety pack. Go for it. Especially if it's got that free shipping. That's definitely a good price. Okay, and then I just smush that little pointy bit around. Because you want to have it far enough around that even whenever you push in on the sides. Which you can do with any of your pliers, really. It didn't have to be your flat nose. But um, that way when you push it in, it's not pulling it around and making the bit pokey bit pokey. Uh, hey, Lorena. I'm really glad you were able to catch a live. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> so there's those two. So now I'm going to cut another bit of... And it only takes about seven inches to do... of the wrap going through. So it'll come down about two and a half inches, do the bend using the smallest mandrel on my mandrel pliers. Penny says, okay, why was that so ASMR for me when you smushed those wires and on the side, girl, I don't know. I mean, I'll do it again. <laughs> Popping that into a separate bin because I try to not mix metals in my uh, scrap bins. And then. <laughs> there goes Pro Pool, Winnie the Pooh in it. There we go. Getting that threaded through. Reese sounds like onomatopoeia. Hey, says I've had I've had great luck with AliExpress, much better than New Year's Pat. Is that other's experience, or am I pushing my luck here? Um, here lately, we've been having, uh, like you said, much better experience than in years past. So it's exceeded my expectation. I, I always recommend to everyone, you know, m manage your own expectations. It's, you know, uh, if you expect to low, like have high standards, but low expectations, if that makes sense. So like, it's just, it makes it so much more fun to, you know, makes it easier to be grateful if you go in with a low expectation because it's like wow this is way better than i thought it would be but it's difficult to do that and not become like cynical and jaded and stuff so eh, all things in moderation including moderation 
which I've never once in my life been good at moderation, but here we are. It does depend a lot on the seller, Kelly, you're right. <laughs> Yeah. I like giving it just that little bit of a curve because that way there's no wiggle. And then I'm going to have to find a different red bead to make the links off of the sides. And it, it probably seems really like, I don't know, it makes me feel like a little bit of a sellout. And nobody's ever said anything to me to plant this insecurity within me, but making. 10 of the actually I'm making 40 of this same necklace design but if you can get 40 pieces out of one design just by changing the bead color like doing 10 in one metal tone and bead color 10 in the same metal tone but a different bead color and then doing those same two bead colors again but in a different metal tone like dude do it like it's so hard to keep a booth well stocked that it's like if you develop designs that are uh, replicable, I don't know where I got in my head that I was a sellout, but it's like, hey, I'd rather be a sellout and pay my bills if this is even being a sellout. Like, I don't even know what what my insecure brain means by that. Uh, Witch and M says, is there an after party today? Yes. The after party starts at 7.30 and will go until about 9.00. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey Lisa. Oh, we've just been doing a bunch of this, probably. <laughs> hey Anna. Yeah, we are. Hey Mama, how's it going? Misty says it's smart and efficient, not a seller at all. Well, Misty said so. Therefore, it is. It is the new way. It is the way. It makes me so happy right now. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but Randy's in there reading um, D the D and D Player's Handbook with Maddie, <laughs> and like I just love hearing their quiet voices muttering nerdy things. It makes me very very happy. <laughs> She's doing fantastically, I think. <laughs> she keeps I keep checking in with her. It's like you still you still having fun, and she's like yeah. And I'm like okay. Make 300 more pairs of earrings. <laughs> do, 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 do. We have been binging Stranger Things in the evenings, fitting in an episode or two before bed. And I don't know, it's just been, it's been really nice. Very, very full days, but wonderful. It's, it, it, it's nice. It's, it's just nice, you guys. Like, I, I could live like this. Oh, Vondalorians. Randy. We're Vondalorians. From. <laughs> it is the way. It is the way. <laughs> I can embrace this. April, that's amazing. <laughs> Crafting. It is the way. Ah, oh, it is so tricky to coordinate human beings. It really is misty. What you doing with the moons? Oh, these two? I was going to wire wrap them. I need to do a little bit more tidy up work on them. But we also have another batch of moons. No, not curing. They already cured. I need to recast more moons. Which we will be having a shop update this week. So let me tidy some stuff up before I get all up into the next thing. I'm going to go ahead and finish the chain mail onto these guys. So let me set some pliers out of the way. Yeah, I think I'm going to save these guys. Do you see how the metal didn't come all the way together? I guess during casting it just didn't fill up enough. That's alright. I'm still going to use them um, for electroformed projects. Hide them in that drawer. Everybody dance in the moon. Okay. So the chain mail, Randy, uh oh, here comes the sneeze. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me. There we go. 
It might be a little blurry, but that's what we're working on. Oh, thank you guys. But the chain mail that Randy wove is Byzantine, done in 18 gauge, uh, 3 sixteenths. Where my ring go? Nope, there it is. Ha ha! I caught it with my tummy. 18 gauge, 3 sixteenths, and that's standard wire gauge. And then these are 18 gauge, 1 eighth inch that we're going to be joining them together with. And I'm doubling it up on each side. And I got all of our bright aluminum from Chainmail Joe over on Amazon. We harvested our first batch of radishes and I'm going to be pickling them. I'm pretty excited about. Oh, today I totally broke the bottom to my air fryer basket because I hulked out while trying to wash it. Um, oh, Penny! Ah, <laughs> uh, got you what you know. I'm so excited for you guys, which you know, to like just be as successful as humanly possible. And there's it with the chain mail. You know, and we could probably just connect this to some chain and be done, but I really do like doing the additional bead just for a little bit of a pop of color. I'm just gonna have to either get more of these. Um, which I don't think I can wait around for that, but in the meantime, I'm going to just use probably a size 6 red bead or see what I might have in stock. just take the red beads that I was going to use in the brass ones and do the brass ones with just black and then do <clears throat> yeah I think that might be what I do because brass and red doesn't sell as well Ooh, misty that would look really cute except for I don't have that many but we do have more of these heads so I may be able to do or the skulls so I may nope that's the wrong ring size isn't it yep do 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 and you know, I don't want to jinx it, but this bead tray that comes in the kit that we get off of Amazon from American Chainmail um, is like the best little kit because, again, I don't want to jinx it, but the dividers don't pull out easy. Like, because oftentimes I'll be getting my fingers in to like pull some, some rings out and it'll dislodge the little dividers. And I haven't really had those problems with this one. That's probably enough for now. Ooh, Droma says, get busy, make some lamp work red beads. Y'all, I feel so bad. I haven't, I haven't done lamp work in like a year. I started to get like a super major complex um, because I, I started doing it and I was practicing for making memorial beads. And then it's like, it's really hard to lamp work when you're crying. <laughs> apparently um so i just i can't do it without bawling my freaking eyes out uh and i ha haven't even had to make the memorial bead yet um but it's just oof, i'm not i'm not ready so how about yellow with the brass Ooh, i'll have to see what i have that would look super cute very steampunky if i had some dark green ones those would sell really well i i bet other body da, 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 da. Oh, that's not the right ring size. Mmm, -hmm. mm, yeah. Opalite and brass. That is a very good idea. I actually have some faceted opalite. I'll have to see if I have enough of it. Because it may get to where we just start doing, you know, two duplicates of a necklace instead of, uh, hey, Elizabeth, yep, it's still live for at least another hour. 
Well, yeah, for definitely another hour. And then we do the after party, which we are having keto chow shakes for our meal in between. <laughs> but our friends who were very successful with keto uh, recommended keto chow for a protein shake that's like no sugar. So they're delicious though. This shake's not my friends. That's a really good idea, Misty. It does make it kind of like a dog food, though, doesn't it? Hey, Susie, how's it going? Bah. Just getting that attached. Excellent. But yeah, see, one ring joining the two doesn't, I mean, it would hold, but it doesn't look as, substan as substantial and nice as it would like. And do, whoopsie, the second ring. I really like how that looks. I'm going to keep things from getting all twisty on me, too. Uh, I'm still here, Mary Hart. It, it, the signal did get really really iffy for a sec. Ooh, Peridot would be super cute, Hawk. <laughs> yeah, right? Zombie, how's it going? Uh, Stephanie, Stephanie says, do you have any of these necklaces completed so we can see? No, <laughs> I don't. I'm hoping to get there. <laughs> I'm going to complete all of these ones, like, before starting in on the next color scheme. So, y'all will hopefully get to see a completed necklace this evening. Which, I mean, shoot, if I can get two necklaces made, or ten necklaces made in around two hours um no that's not including the work that randy did on the byzantine but also it kind of offsets that it does always take me longer to do stuff in live streams just because i'm chit chatting and having a good time anyhow um but that's all right but if i can get 10 necklaces made in two hours and i think i'm going to be selling them for like 25 each um that's not so bad it's not so bad at all This is definitely a little bit more crowded of an AR. That's the aspect ratio. So you want to make sure that all of your rings are laying where you want them to be. Because if they both get pinned on one side, like, I want them to sit nice and happy. Eee! Zombie says, hello, I've missed watching these, I'm good, how are you two? We've been doing really well, we've missed you, Zombie, I'm glad to see you again and to hear that you're doing good. It has been a doozy of a couple of years, <laughs> but I don't think you need me to tell you that. Ooh, Elaine, goodness. <laughs> right on, Organic. It certainly does help to open our... 18 gauge one eighth, one eighth inch nice and wide like sometimes just giving yourself a little bit of extra room to work in is all it takes to make the difference between a frustrating project and a, a like coasting project where it's just kind of smooth crafting Steffi says, I opened my shop this last weekend for the season. I did really well considering it was a holiday weekend. My shop is in a western town. Right on! <laughs> Zombie says, oh nice, do you guys still do mail opening videos? You know, I've been considering it. Um, I was going to have Randy kind of open some of the stuff first. Um, 
just so it's I couldn't take opening anymore like hate mail and stuff with like ding dongs in it so and not not the food either <laughs> like I wouldn't mind a bit if, well now I would because I'm doing no sugar but um no it was those it was it, it got to where it was very stressful like waiting to open up the package um so oh yeah we got we get lots of hate mail um, I don't know what I do to piss people off, but I sure do. Um, hate is gonna hate, 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 do, 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 Oof, Anna, that's a really good question. Anna says, how do you get motivated to make stuff when sales are super slow? I've made a ton of stuff, but it's just sitting there and I just can't adult anymore. Um, first off, it is okay to take a break. Take some you time, maybe do a project that... Um, is just a passion project that you're not worried about selling, but they can keep your love for crafting and your passion for what you're doing alive and nurtured. Um, <laughs> ah, don't sweat it, my heart. It's just, I don't know. Everybody's got a hobby, but it's still engagement, I suppose. Um, I showed that a little bit earlier, Rachel, but we'll be showing it again here in a little bit. So we'll be coming back around to that. And I do actually think I'm just going to do a tutorial on this design because I think it's so cool looking. But um, but yeah, it can it can be really hard because it's like, how do you just chill out and relax when, you know, bill need, bills need paid, grocery needs bought, gas costs an arm and a freaking leg. Like, we're all in the same sinking ship on this one. Um, ooh! Mary Hart. <laughs> right, Jean? That's what I thought too, but yeah. <laughs> oh, Nightbot is our robot overlord. Um it's just a robot that Randy programmed to say things. my train of thought. I'm not certain what I was talking about. Ooh, Steffi says, I think we all get burnt out when we do this for a living. My first year selling, I did every craft show there was and burnt myself out. Yeah. It's a, it is super helpful, zombie. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've been relentlessly optimistic, Anna, uh, for my entire life because it got to a point where it was this was before randy um after losing my dad uh that it was just like i am going to carry on if only to spite every single thing that's been working against me because it did feel like at the time that the world was working against me and the best revenge is a life well lived and so sometimes to get there you have to trudge through I mean, up to your ears and just muck and rubbish. You need, you got to push through it, and, and you can. I mean, it sucks at the time, but uh, you got to get those seeds planted. You've got to water them with hope, and you just keep carrying on. And eventually, what had been for me a very downtrodden attitude became relentlessly optimistic. Became my default. And it's like, yes, this sucks, but we shall carry on and we will because it's what we do. When it gets hard, you lean into the yoke and you push even harder. And it's helped so much having Randy by my side. And now we, I feel like we've got Maddie at our side as well. And it's just, it makes me feel unstoppable to have them and y'all. But sometimes even when you're standing alone, you've just got to keep doing it. If it's in your heart to keep going, you know, take breaks, catch your breath, but... If there's a dream on the horizon, you owe it to yourself and everyone who loves you to, to go towards that. So maybe taking a break, maybe trying out a new craft, um, maybe following some tutorials on stuff that maybe doesn't seem that interesting to you, but might spark your creativity in a way that it hadn't been stoked before. Um, maybe doing a passion project that is for you. Uh, I know last year I was in a bit of a rut and I made myself a jewelry box 
and a makeup organizer <laughs> um, and kind of spoiled myself a little bit with my time and effort. And now I have these things that are a constant reminder of, you know, instead of just trying to sell everything that I make, I actually got to keep it. And it was, it was lovely, it is lovely. I look at it every day when I put my jewelry on and do my like lotions and potions and stuff. Aw, well, hey, Tim, how's it going? <laughs> Oh, Zombie says, my niece has been badgering me to sell my resin pieces, but I honestly never thought about selling my stuff before. I'm not sure if I should bother or not. Um, I don't know. It's not in everybody's heart to sell their work, uh, and, and I think that's okay. But, I mean, of all the, of all the ages to live in, this is a really good one for being able to reach a wide market. And, um, I don't know, maybe uh, sign up for a craft show and you and your niece go and work it together. Because if nothing else, it's just a fun memory to have made as well. Oh, zombie. I'm a, I'm a swamp potato. <laughs> oh, Anna. There, there's lots of good videos out there, Lot, like lots with much better videography and they get to the point and stay on track and there's lots of good stuff, but it, I'm not going to lie, I am very tickled pink that you like me. <laughs> mm. Susie says, I do like to keep my own stuff, but do need to sell to keep my hobby going. I'm not going to lie, Susie, there's been some pieces that I've kept for myself for a couple of years and then was like, eh. I'll sell it and like I might need to like you know replace the clasp or something that doesn't have so much of my hair tangled in it uh, and I always let the customers know you know it's like you know I've had this one for a couple of years or it a bit that way it's kind of like just being transparent full disclosure you know um, but that way I get to enjoy it a bit before it goes on to its next home Sometimes it just doesn't lay right. E oh, you can get it. Organic, you've got this. It says it's in my heart to sell my stuff. I have bills and have to be a full-time YouTuber. Honest to goodness, it's not YouTube that pays our bills. It's all the things that we use YouTube as a platform to promote. So like our subscription uh, service for the Craft Along Club, our weekly shop updates, um, whenever we do our auctions and stuff. So it's, uh, because I, I don't like relying on YouTube and its fickle algorithm. Um, algorithm has become a dirty word in our house. Uh, but it's, I don't want to have to rely on that to make sure that my bills are paid. If the algorithm shows mercy and like we get more subs and reviews or, you know, something like that, then cool. But we, we use YouTube as a platform to enable our other avenues of monetization. So like some folks use Kofi, Kofi, K-O-F-I, I think, um, or PayPal or Venmo or Cash App or like, you know, they'll have Etsy shop, Patreons or subscribe stars. Like there's so many different options nowadays that you kind of just got to pick one and roll with it. Um, and it, it can really help you that way before even jumping through all of YouTube's hoops for, you know, having to be monetized or having so many viewers before you can live stream or having so much before you can, you know, monetize your videos. It lets you bypass all of that and you can start from day one. And, uh, and it's not about quality, quantity, it's quality. Because over on our... Uh, my vlog channel, the Monster Vlog, shameless self-promotion. Uh, we have been posting a video a day uh, for the year of yoga, um, which I think we're up to day 307 or 308, I think. It's getting there. Um, but we've got like maybe 20 people who actually watch our stuff out of the like thousand or two that uh, are subscribed. But they are the coolest 20 people and they like they keep like they comment and they like you know chat with me during the premieres and stuff over there and so it's like um the vlog channel is actually getting to where it's supporting itself because we do memberships over there now and I had told myself I was like okay 
I'm not buying anything else for the garden unless the vlog channel's monetization routes are paying for it just because I can't afford to keep buying shit. Um, <laughs> so like I bought a splurge and got some more fairy lights and then it, I was like, okay, I, I can't buy any more stuff now. Um, so, but it's, you know, and that's with, I mean, so, most of our videos only get like 30 or 40 views. So, you know, again, all of those vanity metrics and stuff are not the end all be all. Um, you can still make things work. You can still make ends meet. You just got to get kind of clever and funky with it. Oh, hey, Amanda. Oh, we're not too late. Oh, pro. I'm glad you like the monster vlog. Hey, Tushers. Do, 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 Ah, Aang says, I watch it. I love it. Noise. Well, I'm glad you do. I'm excited. I don't know what we're going to do after the year of yoga. I think I'm going to start doing like 30 days of 30 and start actually applying myself to uh, like picking my flute back up um, and like probably a lot of like music stuff. But I'm also going to do like 30 days of 30 minutes with Fly Lady and like just clean my filthy house uh, and of course vlog it. <laughs> so... Mm, cheers, everybody. Do, 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 do. Monster vlog fam. That's where we'll be the Vondalorians over there on the Monster vlog. April, if you're still watching. Misty says 30 of 30 sounds awesome. I'm pretty excited about it. Like, what a wonderful opportunity to actually make time for things that I really enjoy. Oh, I'm going to have to make some Byzantine. Boo. I'll wait for Randy to do that. <laughs> hey Chibi, how's it going? Hey Expressive, yeah, it has been a minute, hasn't it? And it's just cleaning, that's a dirty word. <laughs> well, I figure it's about time I do something nice for future Vaughn. I've been screwing her over for years. Um, so the the nicest thing I can think of to do for future Vaughn is to like bathe and clean my house and actually like put my laundry away. Um, I'm sure she would really appreciate that. And I'm not like a cuckoo crazy pants. Like I'm not talking about myself in the third person, but it's, there really is, I have been not always setting myself up for, you know, uh, having a better day tomorrow than what I had today. Even if today's a good day, there's still room to make tomorrow a little nicer. And sometimes if it's just getting my sink shined, which that's not like a euphemism or something. Euf euphemism? Euphemism. Euphemism. How do you spell? euphemism or euphemism nope all right well i'm having a burnt boat burnt boast um you clean windows too <laughs> maybe Ooh, 30 days of halloween would that just be like being creepy in my front yard or dressing up or eating candy <laughs> yes oh fly lady is timeless like i don't care what century we live in Dishes still need done and how, like, floors still need swept. Not a euphemism. <laughs> Euf euphemisms? Euphemism. There we go. Thank you, Expressive. Um. <laughs> oh, uh, you can send us an email, Expressive. Um, that's the best way to send us pictures and stuff. And quite frankly, we're just not able to keep up with Facebook messages or Instagram messages. So we don't even check them because it freaks me out how far behind I am on replying to people. Whereas Maddie's been helping me uh, get caught up on replying to emails. And I think I'm down to like 50 emails that need replied, you guys, from like 700. Now, it wasn't at 700 whenever Maddie got here, but that's where we were like a month or two ago. And we've just been chiseling away at it on <laughs> the dragonfly thumping tail. I'm working on it, you guys. Fly Lady is first love yourself. Um, and it's basically like, oof, uh, like a 10 step hoarder program <laughs> a little bit. It's just, it's, it's a way to help you declutter your house and like be like daily chores and stuff. And it just, it helps, it gives me a system to be diligent with like there's zone cleaning and stuff. And I, I'd recommend, recogni huh. recommend, there we go. I'd recommend giving it a Google and checking it out. Hmm. 
Words are so hard, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to be making some links right quick out of these guys. Again, I'm going to be using my 20 gauge titanium, and this is my stiffer stuff. Ooh, have you considered selling advent calendars with your cabs? Potomac beads and Aussie mail sold them last Christmas and they were so much fun. Ooh, that is a really good idea. Yes, I'm considering that now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how to do it. Cause our laser cutter is like, uh, not that great. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to make a advent calendar. Mm, so I'm gonna snip these to lengths of about, let me test the three inches. No, I don't think three inches is gonna be long enough. I'm gonna need to do four. And again, using my mandrel pliers. Yeah, we put little, we put little eyeballs in them. But they're cute. I like that. With their little eyeballs. <laughs> okay, so one of these. I just heard Randy say to Maddie, you have to let me try to kill you. <laughs> like, but it's for D&D, &D, like out of context. Because <laughs> Maddie's there like having a bit being like, uh, but and he's like, well, you have to let me try to kill you. <laughs> what? I don't even know what they're planning. I'm excited about playing D&D &D tomorrow, though. We'll see. <laughs> Ooh, Sabaya says, I now have a glow forge in my craft room. Not set up yet, but I'm excited to play with it. My bestie turned roommate. Just made an awesome acrylic piece with it. Oh my god, Sabea. That's amazing. Let me know if you figure it out. Because, like, I suck at using my glow forge, like, so badly. So, we could do just a straight red bead. But, I really like using these silver beads. Because I feel like it gives it such a nice, like, depth and texture. Bow furry. What's bow furry? Is that, like, an anime? I always wanted to play D&D, &D, but I'm too shy to go out and find people. Right on! Well, they've got, like, Roll20, I think, is a thing on the internet. Um, I, I think there's means of not having to leave your house, but still playing D&D. &D. But then, I don't know, people are just, ugh. They can kind of be the worst. People can be the best, but they can also be the worst. So, it's kind of just risky business. But, it's, when people are the best, it makes it totally worth having to muck through all the folks who cringe <laughs> penny <laughs> yeah well <laughs> Ooh, okay and what's it called bow furry hey maddie yeah have you heard of bow furry uh b-o-f-u-r-i it's about a girl in a vr game that puts all her points in defense no okay well it's been recommended we should check it out and a moo. We're going to have to get to Stranger Things first, though. No spoilers. <laughs> oh, I hope so, Lynn. I'm making a buttload of them. So on these, I'm doing one end that is the size of the smallest link, on, like the smallest mandrel on my mandrel pliers. And then the other one is going to be quite small. Do -do 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 -do. Pro says some of us can't help but be cringe. You aren't cringe at all, Pro. Like, you and Drax's mom are some of the coolest folks I've ever met. I'm just terrible at being a friend and am unable to, like, socialize more than once a year, apparently. So, bah. Ooh, Sherry says, glad to catch you this evening, starting vacation week. Ooh. And this is wonderful company while I set up my crafting space. Oh my gosh. Did you just move or are you just getting it set up? Like, alright, so there's, it's... To me, it's more exciting than setting up a baby's nursery to be setting up a craft room. Uh, so I'm like, tell me everything. <laughs> okay, so the reason why I did a small link on this side and a larger link on this one is I feel like it helps it to taper down from the thicker Byzantine that we'll be attaching to to the thinner chain where the hell is the chain at there oh there it is i mean heck <laughs> so this is the 20 gauge from the ring lord silver plated 20 gauge in platinum but yeah and so that's what i'm going to be connecting it to 
Mm, zombie said, are there any items in particular you are really in need of? Looking for ideas or stuff to send you. I don't know. Because I'm kind of overwhelmed with what we currently have. I need one of Hermione's time turners. Like, a legit one that works so I can double the amount of time that I have in a day. Um, I don't know. I Honest to goodness, when folks send us stuff, I love it when they send something that they like. Because... I can buy crap that I like, but I don't know what you like. And so, like, I, it helps me to know you better, if that makes sense. So, you know, to I, I don't want to just get my favorite stone. I want to see what your favorite stone is, if that makes sense. Like, those are my favorite kinds of gifts to get. And <laughs> Misty goes, wish, wish. I, we do have a shameless Amazon wish list up somewhere. Um, but it's mostly, like, fairy lights right now. <laughs> Oh, and a game camera, um, because I want to spy on my rabbits at night. And I kind of want to put a motion-activated game camera up by the hummingbird feeder to see if I can capture some 4K footage of hummingbirds getting fed. If they ever come back, like, please come back, hummingbirds. Okay, so also that smallest mandrel size on my mandrel pliers can fit two of those 18 gauge rings so that still looks quite nice i think oh i'm sorry patricia here let me scooch the camera a bit Ooh, have you watched the secrets of dumbledore yet i have not do the hammers and monetize it you bet your butt cheeks i will <laughs> i'm gonna put that up on the monster vlog if i can wait, throw my pliers if i can just make a whole like get a whole bunch of footage of just hummingbirds um then I'll just put videos up of, let's spy on the hummingbirds. Ooh, Sherry says, complete cleanup and reset. Sewing station on one end of the kitchen, polymer clay and wire at the other end. All signs of work banned to the closet. Nice. Ooh, wee, amazing Amy. She says, I have three orders of beads to go through and put away before I get to see my work table to start a project. I only need major caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> you got this, though. You can do it. That's kind of fun, too. Just put on some jams or something and play in your beads. Like, it's, to me, that's one of the most wonderful things about being a crafter is it's like Christmas getting all those beads. We have a house rabbit named Marble Cake. He's round and sweet. Oh! <laughs> okay. What did I do with my wire? I guess the three inches worked perfect, though, didn't it? Cool. We'll do three inches again. Hey, Leaf! <laughs> oh my god, I love to play in my beads, right? Like, I kind of want to... If I had a month off the, of just, like, existing in the hyperbolic time chamber uh, from Dragon Ball Z... So I could spend infinite amount of time in there and it only goes like an hour in real life. I would totally reorganize all of my bead trays. Like I'm hankering to do that. Because I want to do it by gemstone type. But I'm going to need like a house three times as big as what I have. <laughs> um, it is Lindorf. Two... So now that I've established that that link size works, three, <laughs> right on Lee, four, <laughs> hey Tish, five, six, seven, I'm gonna scooch the camera. Ah, uh, night, night, Mary Hart. A ball pit filled with beads. I would be very, very compelled to simultaneously roll in it in pure chaos and organize it. I've lost count. That's fine. I'm just gonna do the rest of it. Because if I don't use it for this, I'll use it for one of the other necklaces, I'm sure. <laughs> April says, wife says, told I told you I could fit all my craft supplies in a box. Husband says, please stop calling our house a box. <laughs> <laughs> nice not entirely wrong on either count Ooh, Patricia I am making these little 
skull necklaces and currently I'm cutting the wire for making the links um, this is 20 gauge titanium toned pair wire brand enameled craft wire so it's basically copper core but silver plated super durable enamel I don't know what they enamel it with but man it works There we go, and I'm using six millimeter uh, red glass beads, and then three millimeter from these lolly beads that I got on Amazon. Ooh, right on, Amanda. We're gonna be doing some sewing next week. I'm gonna make some Jedi robes. So we're gonna dress up as Jedi's, just for chits and giggles, I guess. <laughs> okay, so. I'm going to straighten this out. I'm going to come down about this far. So there's about an inch. So an inch and a quarter. Bend. Vandalorian. Hey, school. How's it going? <laughs> you had me a Jedi. <laughs> Look, I want to make some Leku. And paint myself kind of purpley pink with like green contouring. I don't know. <laughs> You also had me a Jedi. Nice. Well, I'm going to have to search some tutorials on how to make the robes. Because, like, I don't know. If you don't use enough fabric, it looks less legit. And I want it to look very, very legit. Like, I want to look like we're extras in the movie if we can manage it. Like, is it the 501st? I want to look 501st le level of cosplaying for this. Euphemism. Oh, squirrel. Um... I don't know if you can hear me, Squirrel, but I think you need to refresh your chat. Ooh, Aang says, I've been totally playing with my new embroidery machine. Love it. I've not been crafting much. Need more time in a day. Right? Like, hundo. Hundo, 10%. Feel that. Where in the heck are the hummingbirds? Ah! It's the first Friday I've been home in, like, three weeks. Um, and I'm like, I want to see a hummingbird. Do, 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 do. What song even is that? Cause I'm hiding in the bushes so far. Every day we're going all day. All day. Mm -hmm. Hi, cabbages. Speaking of cabbages, my cabbages are luscious. I will show them in the vlog. And that's, again, not a euphemism. <laughs> oh, I think I said it right that time. Um, but no, my cabbages are doing real good. I've kept the bug netting over them, so no cabbage moths on the cabbages this year. Not my cabbages. <laughs> I love y'all. Just the fact that, like, y'all get us. Okay, so typically what I do is I come through and I'm going to do the big end on all of these. Penny says, I love me some cabbages. We've got two in the fridge that need eight. I'm excited to pickle some radishes, cook some garlic and cabbage and onion um, just for eating. Okay, so there's three. I'm going to do this one and then we'll work on the other end. Rose is now getting hungry. Nice. Odd coincidence. <laughs> what are y'all's favorite cabbage recipes? Because I almost like it just as a side. Oh, Rhonda, thank you. Mm. Y'all were missed, too. Like, I need to let you guys know that, like, I, like I, I hate to admit this, but I take y'all for granted. Like, I have so much fun on these Friday streams, and it's like... I was like, no, yeah, I'll be fine to not stream for three weeks. Um, and then it's like a week and a half in, I was like, where's my crafty friends? <laughs> like, just sad and missing you guys. So I'm so glad to be back and hanging out and hearing about y'all's cabbages. Eee! 
Just boil. Nice. You boil my cabbages. Again, not a euphemism. <laughs> nope, not a hummingbird, just a regular bird. Which is still cool. I just wish it was one of the little angry ones. Rhonda. Ooh, cabbage soup. Saute. Hello. We're back. Okay. There we go. Ooh, basketball bracelets. Hey, Patricia. Okay, so we're back. There we go. Refresh. There we go. Zombie, zombie. Hey, Kit, how are you doing? Feels like it's been almost a month <laughs> since we saw you last. Not so super durable, number two. Nice, Sabea. Which, I know you're sick, Sabea, but your makeup looks amazing today from what you posted on Instagram. So I just needed to let you know that. Cabbage rolls? What? What is a cabbage roll? What is this? What are these? And Spotzel? That sounds amazing. <laughs> okay, so again, we did a big end and a little end. I'm going to take this and we're going to go like that. I'm going to do this thing right here. Is that a Britney Spears song? Aww. <laughs> Cabbage leaves used like a wrap. Ooh, iris. First off, hey, how's it going? Second off, tell me more. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, apparently, apparently, like, can we make keto cabbage rolls? Uh, no sugar is really our main focus. And then we're also doing low carb unless it's like a whole fruit or a whole vegetable. Um, we're doing like no potatoes right now just because it's hard to not go full on ham on that stuff. And um, we are eating those carb balanced tortillas, but like if we have something carby, we just have it like once a day. And then we're just doing meat and leafy greens and like kind of high fat, high protein, lots of leafy greens the rest of the day. And still keeping an eye on my calories. Like I don't want to go over, you know, 2,500 calories in a day. Um, and then also keeping my activity level up, which has been hard to track because my Fitbit finally died. Um, <laughs> they're totally keto. Yeah. But it's just, I've been using the term keto because basically any keto recipe is friendly for what we're shooting for. But like, I'm not going to not eat a banana. Like, we're back. Hey, Anna. Love it with schnitzel. Oof. Mm. Mash up with the leftover you had from sleep tax your face like oh right on you could probably do it with just the meat or maybe some rutabagas or turnips or parsnips apparently there's an, a recipe for easy cabbage rolls we're gonna have to we're gonna have to try that out patricia i got mine on aliexpress but some folks were saying that you can get it on amazon as well okay so this is as far as i go let me close this before I make a mess. And now I'm going to measure it. One, two, three, four, five. So it's at like five and a half. So I'm going to call it at five. Yeah. And so if I want my necklace to be 18 inches, plus 13. So I'm just going to do seven inches of chain off of either side. And so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It could, oh, that would be really cool as a bracelet, Misty. I might have to do some as a bracelet. I definitely have to display them on our bracelet cones as opposed to our bracelet bars, but I think that would be all right. 
Okay, so I just snip off the chain like this. Uh, bye, zombie. It was so nice to see you. Give yourself a hug from us and have a wonderful rest of your day. Ah, gotcha. Retro Gaming says the only thing I'm wondering about is if whether some of these places ship to Canada or are available in Canada. I would definitely check out AliExpress. Um, they are, as far as I understand it, please correct me if I'm mistaken, but they are either a subsidiary or a sister company to Alibaba, which ships all over, like, you know, Europe and stuff. Again, I'm not there, but that's what I've heard. So hopefully AliExpress would still ship to you. Do, 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 do. do you make waste beads and other things? What's a waste bead? Like scrap beads? Tibby says, I sent you an email with a link to a YouTube video on the top five laser cutting engraving machines for home use, just in case you want to replace your go for it. Ooh, thank you, Tibby. I'll check that out. And honestly, I'll, I'll probably forward it to Pro and be like, yo, which one of these should I get? <laughs> He's my laser guy. Ooh, oh, like a belly chain? Yes. We actually make more body chains, which is like a necklace and a belly chain put together. Um, and I think they're super smexy, you guys. Like, majorly. But yeah, so I'm just taking... And on this end, I did a smaller loop because I'm only using one ring to attach because I can only fit one ring through the chain. Now the chain is a 20 gauge wire, and then this one is an 18 gauge ring, so it holds together pretty nicely. Yeah, probably whenever we start easing back into costumes, doing a whole bunch of body chains is gonna be the first thing that we tackle because you can just get big spools of chain and like some cute beads and stuff and make like a really nice looking costume. And I like them because, like, one body chain with some, like, extender on it can fit anything from my mannequin, which is a half of a human being, like a half of a tiny human being, um, but to me, which is, like, I'm, like, a size 24. So. They're really, really easy to customize in the booth as well. So this is the 19 gauge chain from the, the Ring Lord in black ice i don't know why i just like it in a different color from the rest of the stuff so i've measured off four inches of it and i'm hooking it to the left hand side not out of any kind of like you know we'll swap it if our customers request but it's easier for randy and i who are both right hand dominant um to put them on the displays so that's why we do it this way you do it however you like Oh, the skulls are just little, um, I don't think they're raven skulls. A raven would have a higher nose bridge, but they're just a cute little, like, kind of goth style. We try to do our jewelry in a way that if there's any symbolism in it, it's whatever the customer brings to the table. Because, you know, traquetras can mean different things to different folks, you know, so... It's not on me to tell you what it means. It's what what is valid is what it evokes in you. So. Aw, kit. <laughs> uh, we got the skulls off of AliExpress, but I believe you can get them on Amazon or Etsy as well. Yeah, they're kind of like pigeons. I don't know. I've never seen a pigeon skull. Um... I don't think the beak shape is correct for a pigeon. I know, it's been a long time since I've seen a pigeon in person up close. Hmm. Pidgey, 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 potato. <laughs> Kate, does, did you get married yet? No, we're not married yet. Our family found out. They're like, well, we want to be there. And we're like, Fuck. So I think we're still going to, like, sneaky style, go over to the courthouse and get the paperwork signed. And then when we return Maddie to her parents, um, after the kidnapping has commenced, uh, we're just going to, like, set stuff on fire in his dad's backyard for, like, a barbecue. But it's going to be setting stuff on fire in his dad's backyard. So I have never seen a baby pigeon, actually. Are they adorable? Like, the naked baby pigeons or, like, once they got, like, their feathers. 
clothes on. I don't know. A little baby pigeon in clothes would, would be adorable. Um, <laughs> conspiracy theory. Do baby pigeons, baby pigeons exist? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, don't get excited. It's for tax purposes. The most romantic reason of all. But we figure after 17 years, uh, we talked to an accountant after getting audited because we were like, everything turned out being okay. They just needed some paperwork from like when we bought our van in 2015. So that was like not as terrible as it could have been. Knock on wood. But we talked to an accountant and he was like, you know, you guys would be saving a ton of money if you filed jointly, if you were married, if you're into that. Like, he was trying to be very, like, tiptoeing around it. Um, and then on the phone with the accountant, Randy was like, will you marry me? And I was like, yeah, okay. And the accountant was like, what, 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 what? <laughs> but, yeah, so, the, yeah, so it's not... We started our life together and got married in our hearts 17 years ago. So this is just, we're finally getting it legalized and getting the paperwork and stuff. So it's so romantic. But, <laughs> ooh, Tammy says just bought 50 piece crow skulls, silver and bronze for $9.89. That's a good price. Tasher says, nope, excited. That's fair. <laughs> well, we're not going to, our, our budget is literally like 30 bucks for the marriage license and certificate. So that's the only expense that we're doing for our wedding because it's like, I'd rather buy more plants or more beads or, you know, something. So, wow, but thank you, Tish. I am, I am excited to finally join the Kennedy uh, family. I'm gonna have to change the channel name though. Like, and I've got over 800 videos where I'm going, hi everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go through, I don't know, it'll just, It'll be a milestone in the channel, too, for sure, because, um, hi, everybody. I'm Yvonne Kennedy. I don't even, um, mm, hmm, we'll, no, it wasn't a hummingbird. Um, we'll see. Patricia says, I want a bead machine. What's a bead machine? <laughs> I'm excited for y'all, too. Saving money is wonderful. It sure is, Misty. <laughs> You don't have to change your name. Yeah, but I kind of want to. Like, I would be so honored to be a part of his family. So, you could hyphenate it, maybe. That's a lot of typing. That's a lot of talking. But it's his family. Uh, even whenever they did not approve of me and Randy living together when we were 17 and like me finishing high school with him driving me around to like to school and stuff they were like y'all need to live at home and go to school which is good advice honestly I would have been like y'all need to not like where are you doing but we were like nope this is what's happening <laughs> but other than not really approving um his family has been just amazing to me and to him and they gave us Maddie like they didn't give us we had to kidnap her but it's like I would be so happy to be a part of his family so bring your beer and wear super fun stuff we I'm so excited for you guys <laughs> right on the back to Earth creations every time so just change the channel name to back to Earth creations that's a good idea Katrina we'll do that <laughs> you have to change your name people say it and I know who you're talking about it's famous oh tish <laughs> well thank you guys Ooh, oh, that's a good idea, Pat Patricia. Knee snappers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my name's Yvonne. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so we have about one minute left in the stream. Uh, do you guys have any questions or anything before we go that I can help you out with? Before Now, shameless self-promotion, we're fixing to have an after party from 7.30 till 9. And that's to all of our Happy Crafter Club members, whether you're a Happy Crafter through our subscription service or through our Patreon. We'll be sending out the link to both. Um, and it's just a dollar per month and you get to come and hang out. Now, I know I just took three Fridays off, but we do typically do this every Friday. Um, am I registered anywhere? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like, we haven't, we haven't filed for marriage yet or anything. Like, we're still, we had quoted it for where we were in Tennessee, and then you need to quote it for here and see which one's cheaper to get married in. Um, what time is the D&D &D campaign tomorrow? I don't know. They're kind of in there fretting at each other. And Maddie made a face at me, so I don't know what time it is. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just look over and just, is she slapping her arm? I don't know what you're doing. Bracelet? Chainmail? Okay. 
<laughs> She's waving her arms at me. What are you? Oh, it's time to go. <laughs> you can speak. You can say words. I'm not good at pantomiming. Is that what charades. it is? Sure, Char charades. What are you doing with that hat? Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we will see y'all in the after party if you guys have any questions about anything just send us an email to backtruthcreations at yahoo.com and we will try our best to get back to you within a three to five year time frame um so are you going to be making any more laser cut project boxes the one with the butterfly i hope so donna i really hope so but i'm fighting tooth and nail with this glow forge there's not a single piece that comes out of that thing that we're not having to hand cut or sand to get it to be like not stuck in the board so we'll see but thank you guys so, no we'll answer faster than that i'm just gen i'm gonna be honest with you i'm very bad at answering my emails in a timely manner but i'm working on it to get better so we will see you guys in the after party and until then happy crafting Mwah. bye <laughs>